<laughs> What's up, Salmon Squad? I am the game Salmon, and welcome to a game called Childhood Fears. I know exactly why I'm getting so many comments to play this game. I know Omar Sabali's been playing it on his channel, and I think he's done with his series. I think he rage quit it on the final night. Regardless of his progress, he actually recommended this game to me a while ago. I've just been busy with other games, but we're here now. I am going to give this game a shot. All right, time to start a new game, but first, like and subscribe. Night one, throwing me in. Oh, is this a bunk bed? Okay. I can dig it. I do get a phone call. Good. It's 10 p.m. How long does this go? Hello? 6 a.m.? Hello? Hey, buddy, it's your brother Mike. Hi. So mom and dad told me about how you feel like there are monsters trying to get you every night when you're trying to sleep. That there might be watching you from your window or in your closet. You know, typical kid fears. And since they couldn't... Oh, I didn't mean to cancel it! No! No! Mike! Hold on, let me restart. I I need to hear the phone call. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. Let me let me actually get the instructions to know what to do. And since they couldn't convince you, they wanted me to call you to tell you that it's fine. That it's just in your imagination and that everything is going to be all right. I'm not going to do that, though, because there are monsters watching you and they are trying to get you. <sighs> I only know this because the same thing happened to me when I was your age. Just like you, they tried telling me I was just having nightmares and that I was imagining it. And they were pretty convincing, too. I almost believed them until the monsters decided to show themselves. Once I saw them, I knew they were real. And let me tell you, it's one thing to be afraid that there might be something hiding in your closet. It's a whole other to actually see it in there. These monsters tried to attack me for days, making me go through something no kid should ever have to. Okay. And it looks like you're going to have to go through the same thing. Conveniently for you, though, you have an older brother who has already experienced this nightmare and knows exactly what to do to survive these... This feels like a prank. So for starters, you should know that you just have to make it to the end of the week. At the end of the week, the monsters will go away. They did for me, and they should for you, too. Also, you need to make sure that you stay in different rooms of the house. If you stay in the same spot, the monsters will come up with better ways to attack you, and you won't be able to avoid them. It doesn't matter whether it's the kitchen or the family room or wherever else in the house. It just needs to be a different spot. This way, it'll throw the monsters off, and their attacks will stay the same. Speaking of rooms, what room are you in tonight? My bedroom. The top bunk in the bedroom. Well, in that case, you're only going to have to deal with a few monsters. Aren't you in the bottom bunk? Said, things are not going to necessarily be easier just because there's less of them. Anyways, staying on the top bunk means that you're going to be dealing with the Grimph, the Beetle, and the Shadow. So, to start things off, let's talk about the Grimph. Okay. So, when it comes to Grimph, think of something like a lion or tiger. Some sort of predator of sorts. He'll try to sneak attack you by hiding and getting to jump on you. Just make sure if you see or hear him, you flash your light at him and he'll go away. What's my light? Hey, one thing you should know about monsters. Oh. Light hurts them. Even a touch is just a little part of them. So think of your flashlight as a type of sword. It's going to be very important to you throughout the week. So next up is the beetle. Don't let the name fool you. He's not a normal bug. He likes to hide in small, dark places. Of anything, it's probably in the vent right next to you now. Just like the Grimp, all you need to do is flash him with your light. Just make sure you're fast, though, because he is a little quicker than the Grim. And lastly, but certainly not least, is the Shadow. Once again, you'll need your flashlight to fight off the Shadow. However, the Shadow is smarter than the other two. He'll try to avoid the light by shifting around the room. As he does this, you need to make sure you keep flashing him with your light until he gets real close. Once he gets really close, just flash him one last time to finally make him go away. So that's all the monsters for tonight. I know this is a lot to take in, but you need to remember it if you want to survive. I'll call you again tomorrow to guide you on what to do then. But for now, be careful with your flashlight batteries, listen out for unusual noises, and wait till morning. The monsters will go away when the sun comes up. Talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to die! Okay. What am I listening for? What am I looking for? Basically, if I see something... Ah! If I see something, flash it with my light! <laughs> So what I gotta do, this reminds me a lot of Boogeyman, but with like different characters and different ways that they will be attacking me. With Boogeyman, the Boogeyman would just show up and like slowly creep around. I, I Part of me wants for like whatever that thing is to like creep out a little bit more just so I can see what it actually is, but also uh, I'll probably get a close up of it later when it kills me. It's fine. Oh, it's already 11 p.m. Great. How long do I have to survive? I'm assuming six o'clock. Who? 
Oh, oh, to bro! I don't like the shadow! The shadow can get off! <laughs> I hate this game. Oh, I hate this game. Ah! Stop, 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 stop. I hate this game. I hate, I hate it. <laughs> Why did you suggest this game to me, guys? Omar, I know you're watching this video too. <laughs> Don't recommend things like this to me. This is terrifying. Jesus. Ah! Stop it. I feel like I hear something. Oh, it's the shadow, dude. Will this work? Yeah, 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 yeah. Am I getting ya? Am I getting ya? Ah! I don't like it when he gets so close to me, bro. Oh, I hate this shadow dude. Shadow dude needs to chill. What was that green hand? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, great. This really is like Boogeyman. <laughs> Let's just turn off all the lights and terrify me. That's cool. That's fine. I'm, I, oh, I have my listening ears on. Oh, I, oh, guys, I hate this. Oh, I, ah! I hate this. <laughs> this entire game is just gonna be me yelling. Oh my God. <gasps> what the hell was that? It's 5 a.m. Turn to six? Does the game end at six? I hope so. Ah! Stop it. Dude, stop. This is night. This is night one. This is night one. This is not fair, okay? Everything needs to chill out. <laughs> every sound, every sound. Ah! 6 a.m., okay. It ends at 6 a.m. Oh. <laughs> oh, night one complete, hooray. And we even have the option to go to the next night, which, oh, I don't want to. <sighs> night two. Oh, the bottom bunk. Great. This is better access for all the monsters. Come on, Mike, hey, give me my instructions. Night, huh? I always thought the first night was one of the hardest nights, since you don't really know what you're doing yet. Hopefully by now you do have a bit of a better understanding of how things are going to be working. Anyways, let's get back on track. Things are going to be changing each night, so you need to be ready. So where are you tonight? Bottom bunk? Okay, you're on the bottom bunk in the bedroom. So unfortunately, the Griff and the Shadow can still see you. So they're still going to be a problem. But there is good news. See, you're not visible from the vent, so the beetle isn't going to be able to bother you. The mutant, on the other hand, is going to be a new issue. So the mutant is a disgusting-looking fellow who will try to hide just out of sight, whether it's in a closet or around a corner. The thing that makes him different from the other monsters that you've met so far is that he can't really see. There is an exception to that, though. He can see eyes. Eyes act like little beacons to him. If he sees your eyes, he's going to attack you. Now, you might be able to see where I'm going with this. If the mutant decides to show his ugly face, just close your eyes. Okay. He can't attack what he can't see. R. Okay. Then, once the mutant is gone, it'll be safe to open your eyes again. All right, you should be ready to tackle whatever comes your way tonight. Just make sure that tomorrow you stay in a different room. You don't want the monsters to get the better of you. Oh, of course Bye not. Bye for now. Then goodbye. All right, night two. I'm going to die. I'm assuming everything is all going to be bright. I have the moon. I have the lamp. But eventually over the course of the night, as I get comfortable, things are going to get terrible for me. I'm not ready for the shadow. I... Oh! That was the mutant, I think. All right, so... Ah! I don't like this dude. I, I don't like... I don't like him. I do not like him at all. Okay. Th this night doesn't feel too bad. Um, who, who else would... Th that, that green monster thing was gonna try to attack me. Okay, is it only those three characters? Okay, this, this I got. I feel like the first few nights are supposed to just be, like, 
hey, this is how you play the game and how you deal with all the monsters. Kind of like intermixed in ah! Oh, that's the lamp shutting off. It's fine. It's fine. I'm okay. What is that sound? I'm assuming that's one of my toys just freaking out. I mean, Boogeyman would do that too. Boogeyman would have like a whole bunch of like random sounds everywhere to try to mess with me. It would have like books falling or toys turning on. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. It's fine. Why why is this game so terrifying? Where is Mike? Like where is my brother? And how old am I? Well, okay, I, I was about to complain that, like, I had a cell phone. But, I mean, there, there are a lot of young kids who have cell phones now. I wasn't paying attention, I was talking. Maybe Mike is in college, and he's just calling his little, I don't know, second grade little brother to warn him about the monsters. I get, I, I don't know. I, I should not try to piece together the lore. I, I just need to accept the game as it is. I can't be digging into video game logic. That's a dangerous rabbit hole. Oh, okay. I did it, I did it. The nightmares are gone. That wasn't too bad, but it just, oh. Th these nights feel like they drag on. But night two complete, hooray. Good old night three. All right, where am I this time? Where am I? Just the hallway? I'm just sleeping in the hallway? Really? All right, well, whatever. Hey, it's me again. So I'm guessing that you told mom and dad about what I told you the other night. Yes. You know, the fact that there are monsters trying to get you. Yeah, after you told them that, they really let me have it. Apparently parents don't like it when you tell their kids that there is a monster in their closet. Never mind that though. Let's focus on tonight. So where are you staying? So you're in the foyer. Well, considering the fact that you're only down the hall from your room, you are most definitely followed by the mutant Grim from the Shadow. However, they're not going to be the only ones there, because a new contender enters the ring, the Crawler. Now, you will need to flash the Crawler with your light, but the Crawler is tougher than the others. He'll try to run at you and just power through the light. However, he can only handle so much, so once he gets close enough, he will run away. Oh God. So it might be best to time flashing him as opposed to just keeping it on as he runs up. But that choice is yours. Speaking of your flashlight, you should try to conserve your battery. You are going to be using it more often as the nights go on. Besides the crawler, you already know how to deal with the mutant grip and shadow. Like I said, though, just be careful with your light. All right, good night. I'm going to die. Stop it. Okay. I really need to be facing forward. Okay. The crawler is fast. The crawler is much faster than I... Th oh, I thought he'd... Where's this dude? Ah! Okay, this dude is literally everywhere. Can I go like this? And it's fine. Can I literally go like this? Okay. Okay. All right. So, I, I just gotta go crazy with the sh... Ah! Stop it! Hello? Oh my god, okay, I think... Oh, I, I, I think I've had enough for today. Alright, so, that's Childhood Fears. Uh, <laughs> and, I, and I can see how this game can quickly get out of hand. And I suspect that there might be a balancing issue with the mechanics in later nights. Um, I mean, night three right here is pretty challenging, or at least for me it is. I'm, maybe, maybe the fear is getting in the way, I don't know. 
Um, I know Omar Savali made it all the way to night seven, and then he rage quit on night seven, and even for like nights five and six, it took him hours to record um, those nights, and so I don't know. I think there's a balancing issue, and I don't know if this game is actually beatable as it stands. I think this is going to be one of those games that I'm going to leave it up to you guys if I continue to play this or not. If the response is overwhelming, great. Then I'll play a little bit more and probably rage quit. And if not, no problem. I got other games on my list to play. I, I just really wanted to check this one out because I got a lot of uh, recommendations to play this. And Omar Bali... Omar Bali. Ha! <laughs> Omar Sabali thought that this game was terrifying before he rage quit. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to click on the end cards at the end of this video. Also be sure to like and subscribe if you have not already done so. I love you guys so much. Go out there and make someone's day. Be happy, stay happy, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.